and Ryan. Catherine's from Canada. I'm not saying Canada's boring, but if John Richardson and Susie Dent got married and decided to have a country together, it'd be Canada. <laughs> Yeah, uh, John, yeah, congratulations, obviously, you've just... You've been living in Britain for quite a few years now, haven't you? You've moved from Canada. Have you picked up any slang while you've been here? I love British slang, like plonker, I enjoy. Love a good prat. <laughs> love, like, wind your neck in. Say that to someone in the street. Wind, wind your neck in. <laughs> bollocks. Bollocks, that's, like, bad, but the dog's bollocks is great. Where you guys came up with that, I don't really know. <laughs> Susie, where, where... Colon and a dash in printing slang, and they thought it looked like the dog's bollocks, that's what yeah. they called it. If you're looking at the colon, I think you're at the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rachel Riley. <laughs> where would we be without Rachel Riley? I guess helping a drunk Carol Vorderman out of her mobility scooter. <laughs> If you're watching, Carol, oh, she should be passed out by this hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, a lot of kids have got exams coming up soon. Have you got any uh, tips for maths for revision? Um, not really. I used to um, watch Disney films while I was doing my maths revision. It just makes it a bit more fun. It doesn't help with the revision, but it worked for me. I struggled with the Disney films. <laughs> <laughs> And vowel, please, Rachel. Thank you, Sean. Start the show with E. And vowel. O. And a consonant. S. And another consonant. D. And another consonant. So you're going to be picking all these, are you, Sean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just check it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens is, when the guests come on, they often take a long time. And I get really Vowel, fed up vowel, with. continent, vowel. <laughs> Traditionally, consonant rather than continent. So we don't need another consonant. <laughs> another consonant. N. And another consonant. And the last one. G. And for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Thanks for playing with my cock and balls. <laughs> Sean, what? <laughs> what? One large one and five, so I'm just worried about how big the next one's going to be if Rob doesn't get some points soon. <laughs> right. Depends what numbers you give them. <laughs> six and nine. Ten. Two. Eight. And the big one, 50. Yeah. And the target, 157. And your time starts now. The six is three. Yep. Times 50. 150. Is 150. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4. Yep. 4 from the 10 is 6. Yep. At the moment. Yep, 156. Rachel! <laughs> uh, could it be done, Rachel? Uh, yeah, you could have said 8 times 2 is 16 times 10. And then 9 minus 6 is 3. Take it away, 156. Can I make an observation just on behalf of morale for the show? Sure. The one I say to you, can it be done, if you could maybe try and deliver the, yes, it can be done, a well, bit, a bit I, less I didn't breezily. I say, sometimes yeah, there's, we... there's loads of ways. I know it could have been worse, but it was Ten. quite a bad... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at their little faces. Look at them. They haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, let's try it again. One, one, five, seven was the target. Could it be done? Well, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, time to go across now to Dictionary Corner. Greg, what have you got for us? Well, 